In this video, I'm going to talk about relations among chords, arcs, central angles, and scribe angles. Let's say, for example, we have this circle with a center point A. And so we name uh, the circle according to the center. So if the center is point A, then we name this circle, circle A. Now let's create a segment with the endpoints that lies on the circle. This segment is what you call the chord. If you are going to transfer the segment here in another point that lies on the circle, then it's still a chord. If you are going to transfer it here, then it's still a chord. As long as the point lies on the circle, it is called a chord. Now, if it's like this, this chord is special because it is um, it passes through the center, and this chord is the longest chord. Any chord that passes through the center is what you call the diameter. So as long as the chord passes through the center, it is the longest chord and it's called the diameter. Now here, um, the, the part of the circle, uh, which is colored as red, is just uh, a, a segment of a circle. It's called an arc. So if it's uh, if the endpoints of this arc are the uh, parts of the diameter, then we call it semicircle. So I believe that you are familiar with the semicircle already. Now, if the arc is smaller than the semicircle, then we call it the minor arc. As long as it's an arc that is smaller, no matter how it's close to semicircle, as long as it's smaller than the semicircle, then it's a minor arc. Now, if it's bigger than a semicircle, then this arc is what you call the major arc. Now, let's say we have um, this angle with which is composed of the two radii where the endpoints are on the circle and the other endpoint is on the center of the circle so if it's like this then this uh, angle in the center is what you call the central angle as its name uh, is uh, obvious that it's an angle in the center, then it's a central angle. Then the arc that is having the uh, endpoints of the radii is what you call the intercepted arc. So the relation between this intercepted arc of a central angle and the central angle is um, they have the same measure. So if the central angle is having a measure of 40 degrees, then its a corresponding uh, in intercepted arc of the central angle is also 40 degrees because they have they always have the same measure now we have another angle where it is composed of two chords if a central angle is composed of uh, two radii then here's another angle uh, it's composed of two chords so as you can see it is uh, the vertex is not in the center, but it's also on the circle. 
So this angle here is what you call the inscribed angle. And the uh, arc that is having the two endpoints of the two chords is still what you call the intercepted arc. So it's the same name, whether the angle is a central angle or an inscribed angle. The arc that they intersect is what you call the intercepted arc. Now the relation between the inscribed angle and its intercepted arc is the measure of the inscribed angle is only half of the intercepted arc, unlike the central angle that they are equal. Here, in this case, the, the inscribed angle is only having a half of the measure of the intercepted arc. So, for example, if the measure of the intercepted arc of the inscribed angle is measuring 40 degrees, then um, the measure of the inscribed angle is 20 degrees because as I said, it's only half of the measure of its intercepted arc. Now let's say we have this kind of central angle. As you can see, it is it looks like just a straight line, but it's an angle composed of two radii. And here's its intercepted arc, so obviously it is a semicircle. So since it's a semicircle, then that means it's having a measure of 180 degrees. Because the whole full circle is 360 degrees, so half of it is 180. So that means the measure of this central angle is 180 degrees. Now if it's like this, that the vertex is now on the circle so obviously it is now an inscribed angle because its vertex is on the circle not on the center but as you can see it's the same intercepted arc so uh, we know that the intercepted arc i mean the inscribed angle is only half of the measure of the intercepted arc so that means the measure of the inscribed angle is 90 degrees which is half of 180 degrees which is the measure of the semicircle now if we move it this way then it's still going to be the same measure because the, the it's the same intercepted arc we just reposition the vertex or even if we're going to make it closer to that, it's still going to be the same uh, measure. As long as it's, it's still the same intercepted arc, then it's uh, the same measure because we're going to still take the half of the, the same intercepted arc, which is 180 degrees. Or even in the other side, just like this. So as long as it's the same intercepted arc, they are always having uh, equal measure of inscribed angle. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.